Anthony. One of the findings I was fascinated by in the report is the importance uh, of respondents attached for young people mm. and buses. Why, why young people in particular? We do a lot of survey work among bus passengers. We talked about 25,000 bus passengers a year across the large English cities outside of London. And that survey group represents bus passengers generally. And it's an amazing fact that almost 50% of bus passengers are under 29. To a very large degree, it's a very young person's product. Getting to education, first jobs, further job opportunities, bus is clearly playing a very big role and I think a lot more thought needs to be given about how people can get to education, how they can get to their first jobs in a way that enables them to take up those opportunities. So it's very, very important for young people. And I think the industry would probably recognise it probably could do a bit more thinking about how it deals with that market and how it retains that market perhaps into later life as well. Well I think um, one of the interesting things about this report actually is the point that you made around um, the mobility and the sort of people who are using buses to get to work and so I was really struck we've done quite a lot of work on um, youth employment and um, sort of training and apprenticeships and I was really struck actually mm. by the number of people who you in that category who use the bus and also the number of people who um, I think it's 400,000 mm. who use the bus um, to get to the job and would uh, be are able to use it to get to a better job and there's the sort of link between sort of um, I guess um, um, getting employment, getting better employment. Um, and I, I guess we ought to be sort of um, talking about that more, actually. I think it's quite mm -hmm. compelling statistics, particularly when we're trying to get so many young people uh, into work and trying to get them the right education. I, I thought that was really powerful stuff in terms of demonstrating the value of buses to business. Once people use them, they realise they are a practical, viable method of transport. And all the research we've done among non-users is once you get them on a bus, generally they're amazingly surprised. Oh, it's quite modern. It's clean. It's, you know, it's got smart cards. Incredible. It's not what I remember. I think you've got to get people using it. One of the big themes that comes through from the research is the importance to employers um, you know, getting, accessing labour markets. And actually, some businesses really do know this already. I mean, Asda quite happy to go on record um, saying that, so to say that 85% of their workforce commute by bus. I mean, a large part of that might be to do with wanting to keep their car, park, car, car parks free for their customers. But still, it's, it's a really important, um, it's playing a really important role. And, and you can get there. We, we, we have the, um, the Cobalt Business Park in, in the northeast. They've re relocated outside, well, they're located outside the city centre. And they've recognised the only way they can get their employees to work is to sponsor, support, make the infrastructure correct for buses. The number of times that there are public investment in buildings from hospitals to education centres mm. where there is no thought given to how they're going to get people to them. And then they turn up and say, well, actually, it's a bit difficult. We can't get the buses. You know, what, what are we going to do? It's always an afterthought. We've got to get it on the front foot in terms of people thinking about access to these places at the very beginning. And it can happen. Mm. It's trying to get that linkage again between jobs and, and um, employees. So there's a good example under the um, Sustainable Transport Fund, Local tr Sustainable Transport Fund in Lowestoft, where actually funding the route has actually bought an employment centre with, uh, uh, um, with the, em the potential employees together and an education centre, which wouldn't have happened otherwise. So there are ways to do it, it's just they're few and far between. And you know, they're a, bit, they're a bit low level, they're not, you know, people always look for nice, exciting, sexy things, Lowestoft, taking people to the local business park doesn't normally come up very high, you know, but it actually is really important. Yeah. It gets get growth, it helps tourism as well in that area. So there are main ways of doing it, we just have to keep plugging away. They do exist. I think it's a very good point because, I mean, yesterday's announcement about the railways is very welcome. We represent rail passengers as well, so that's great. So I don't think it's an either or, but I think you're quite right. I mean, expecting more government revenue support for the bus industry in the current climate is a bit, is quite hopeful, probably. But there is infrastructure that can be put in, which is the theme of the moment, and there is kit that can be bought. Mm -hmm. Brand new buses are impressive bits of, they're, they're good, for people like them. They're modern, they're clean, they yeah. look good. Yeah, absolutely. Well, if I could bring you in here, David, I mean, you're, you're a business itself. I mean, if, if some of Ryan's members wanted to start up or expand a business in an area, would you be prepared to alter routes or services to, to suit them? Absolutely. Every single time. 